there is no denying the fact that in the recent years there is a storm of diffusion models these diffusion models have dominated in the field of image generation and the advancement has spurred the development of various methods and models aiming to enhance the quality and control of generated content especially in applications such as portrait video generation and that is the topic of this video i'll be presenting you with this new project called as v express which does conditional dropout for progressive training of portrait video generation the ability to generate high quality portrait videos from single images is particularly valuable for numerous applications including virtual avatars digital entertainment and personalized video content creation let me show you a couple of examples from their project page which i will also be putting the link in the video's description just look at this video and when Marvel. i was a kid this is just, i feel like you i will just so i have just stopped the audio just look at the video amazing let me show you another example look at this one i am outraged isn't it cool and then there are a lot of other examples which are scattered throughout this let's check out this fix face let me play the first one so these are all fixed faces which have been converted into videos and these are all fixed portraits yes the eyes are not moving but still it is just a single image portrait which is talking so you can see that common approach in portrait video generation involves leveraging generative models to enhance adapters for control generation control signals such as text audio reference images key points and depth maps play a crucial role in determining the quality and accuracy of the generated videos but these control signals can vary significantly in strength leading to challenges in achieving balanced and effective control in particular weaker conditions such as audio signals often struggle to be effective due to interference from stronger conditions like key points and reference images this imbalance poses a significant challenge as the weaker signals are frequently overshadowed for example if you look at this one this gives a bit of a hint there because it makes it difficult to achieve the desired level of control and synchronization that is where this v express shines as it is a new method designed to balance different control signals through the progressive training and the conditional dropout operations v express also enables effective control by weaker conditions ensuring that all signals contribute appropriately to the final output this method employs a very different architecture to what we have seen so far and let me show you this architecture let me try to put it into the screen okay there you go now if you look at it this is uh, employing a latent diffusion model ldm to generate video frames incorporating reference net vkps guider and audio projection to handle various control inputs efficiently the progressive training and conditional dropout strategy help mitigate the dominance of stronger signals which allows weaker conditions particularly audio to have a more pronounced influence this approach not only enhances the overall quality of the generated video but also ensures better synchronization and control also they have put in lot of experimental results in the paper that demonstrates that v express can effectively generate high quality portrait videos with synchronized audio which we just saw also maintaining consistency in facial identity and pose the result highlights the potential of their method in providing a balanced approach to integrating multiple control signals of various strengths so that is what is happening in this figure 1 where you can see that the backbone of vexpress is denoising unit which denoises the input multi frame noisy latent under the conditions and this architecture of denoising unit closely mirrors that of st 
or stable diffusion version 1.5 with the key difference being the presence of four attention layer in each transformer block instead of two the first attention layer as you can see in this diagram is a self attention layer just like an st 1.5 the second and third attention layers are cross attention layers the second attention layer known as reference attention layer and codes the relationship with the reference images and the third attention layer called the audio attention layer and codes the relationship with the audio these three attention layers are all spatial wise attention layers and finally the fourth attention layer termed the motion attention layer is temporal wise self attention layer that captures the temporal relationship between the video frames so all in all vx express incorporate three crucial modules reference net vkps guider and audio projection and all of these are utilized to encode the reference image the vkps images and the audio respectively so all in all i think really good model and its pipeline is also quite progressive where it has three stages the stage one focuses on single frame generation stage two focuses on multi-frame generation and similar to stage two the stage three focuses on multi-frame generation but also does the global fine tuning and then all the parameters are updated there there is a lot of other stuff happening in this paper for instance if i just play this one and look at the video now looks so real with all the eye movement facial expression check out this one now on to the amazing stuff and now let's try out maybe this one it looks so real there you see it looks so real this one look at all the facial expression how is she's talking moving the head and all that stuff how good is that let's try out this one maybe there you go looks so real let's try out this one so even behind the glasses the eye movement is quite real amazing stuff and then also there is no retargeting as you can see in this one so if i just play it a bit there you see it's an audio attention weight and on the horizontal there is a reference attention weight which we were talking about earlier really impressive i mean i think i really hats off to all of these researchers from Nanjing university and tencent ai lab its code is also available models are also available on hugging face you would need a good gpu if you really want to try it out because it's a video generation that's it i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching